Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'm doing a range test on my 10S 3P battery. Here's the setup I'll be using today. Things worth noting, I'm using Samsung 30Q cells in this battery build, also 97 millimeter wheels, along with dual 6374 motors. For this build, I did include a Bluetooth module, which allows me to check real-time status of the board, and that does include battery voltage. In this case, it's reading 42 volts for a 100% charge. commute on the board is only about four miles round trip and so I was really excited to get this test done so I could see how far the board could actually go. I gotta be honest with you guys uh, I'm still slightly traumatized from the fall I took a couple of weeks ago and so on this trip here I'm just gonna be cruising. I'm gonna be averaging speeds between about 12 to 15 miles per hour for majority of this ride so just keep in mind that results may vary when going a little bit faster. <laughs> During the test there was a lot of different types of terrain, a good amount of uphill, some downhill, some sidewalks, some streets, so this test here is a pretty good example of what you would encounter when you were just out cruising around going to and from work or whatever the case may be. Before building this battery pack I did a lot of research on batteries that were similar to this and so I kind of had a good idea about what to expect for the range but I really wasn't sure because a lot of the times when I'm out as soon as I take off or relatively shortly after the battery gauge on the remote shows that it's lost 25% or so and so I wasn't necessarily certain I was going to be able to get more than 10 miles out of this and so that was kind of my goal for this test was just to be able to get somewhere around 10 miles. Several miles in, I haven't noticed any change in the performance at all from the skateboard. When I did program the VESC, I set it to 33 volts before there should be any type of lag or anything like that, and I don't believe I've come anywhere close to that as of yet. Approaching 10 miles here and I gotta say I'm really impressed with the performance of this board. I was hoping for 10 miles and it's clear that I'm definitely going to exceed that. The battery meter on the remote says I still have uh, 2 out of the 4 battery bars remaining. Definitely exceeded my expectations and I'm really happy about that. definitely want to get some temperature results after this ride and as you can see from this here the motors only got about 10 to 15 degrees hotter than the rest of the board checking back with the app here you can see i lost just about 5 volts during this test from 42 down to 37 which equates to just about 60 percent of battery use or about 40 percent battery charge remaining and now i'm going to check my relive app just to show the final results for the test here so the trip for me took just over an hour and to be honest 
that was enough for me. I know I could have gone farther here judging by the numbers, but after about an hour or so, I was definitely ready to be off the board. So for me, that's definitely gonna be enough. Now looking at the final results here, 10.7 miles in one hour and five minutes, an average speed of 9.8 miles per hour and a top speed of 20 miles per hour. So based on these numbers, along with the remaining voltage, I think it's safe to assume for me, my body weight and my riding style that about 15 miles is going to be the maximum I can get out of a 10S 3P battery. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope this was helpful in determining if a 10S 3P battery is going to be the right choice for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.